So today, <coughs> we are reading this Temple of Love. And uh, page 169. Jai Shri Rade, Virapak, Uttokarika Barari, Bus 65. Oh, Gorabaniji also. And uh, Goranga Sundara and uh, Sundaram and Radha Kripakata <coughs> So, So, uh, if somebody could read English, it's, I'm very happy. Donata uh, Kairukana. So, not so. Are Bacteraza a motel ego? Temple of Rab motel? Motte nidis. Maharasa a motel? Yomeru, Anata.読んでくれるわかんないですけど読んでみます。うん。ちょっとわかんない単語がいっぱいある。あ、わかんなくてもいい。そしたらフォローする。どこ、どこからですか。えっと、169ページの、え、上から何行目だろう。9行目ぐら
like inside. Renounce. It was in. 1975, 1976, <clears throat> living with my Guru Deva and renounced like this. So, is it this? So, so is Ah, uh, yeah, yes. It was this mm. It was in Barshana. Then one sadhu is coming. He said, You are living in Braja. I say, I come for some time. Then he said, What is this? No good. Coming, going, coming, going. But try to live here. When you will start to live here, automatic, you will know everything. And who is this sadhu? Ramesh Baba. He was also here. And I was here. Going, coming, going, coming like a tourist. Do Bajana live here? Okay, just to stop it. <coughs> So, so please help me. <laughs> and so, when we visit Brindavan, I was surprised to hear from Gurudev. This is like in Brindavan. You can just chanting and sleeping and eating. Just be relaxed. So Gurudev is saying like this to us. So I was literally shocked. Because we are thinking in Brindaban, of course, Bajan is there, but uh, we, at that time we are thinking visit many holy places like Radha Kunda, Barshane, Nandagaon, Jawat. So we are thinking better to visit many places. And, but the Guru Dev said, just relaxing, chanting, and sleeping, and eating. Then Guru Dev is saying, everything I know is coming to me. In Vrindavan, most dangerous thing is to, to commit offense to the uh, Brajabasi or Dhammabasi. But if we relaxing and sleeping and eating, so, and then we don't need to have a chance to make some offense. Last time, Goranga Sundaraji explained, uh, our, our practice, our devotional life, to make us advancement slowly or sometimes stop it. That is Anarta and Aparada. So here Guru Dev is saying just to sleeping and eating. 
I think uh, Mathura Mahatmya mentioned in Vrindavan, just lying down, sleeping is like like pay obeisances. Just uh, uh, walking, just particular. <laughs> And uh, just eating is like uh, taking prasada. <laughs> so Brindavan is a very special place. I think Gurudev, this 90, 75, 76, I think Gurudev was uh, coming and sometimes going. And uh, sometimes going to Delhi, sometimes Munger. Sometimes come back to Buraja. And then, probably at that time, he met his Gurudev, our Parama Gurudev, Radha Govindas Bhaj Maharaj. And here, <coughs> Gurudev was, went to Barshane and uh, meet Ramesh Baba. Maybe some some of us met Ramesh Baba. <laughs> so Ramesh Baba is like Barshane is, I think, Man Mandir upstairs. Ramesh Baba is living. <laughs> and uh, when we went to see Ramesh Baba, were a little bit surprising. At first, Ramesh Baba, uh, we, we had a darshan and uh, Ramesh Baba and I want to give some donation to Ramesh Baba. But Ramesh Baba said, I cannot accept Donation from you. <laughs> he said, he told me. I, I asked him, why? Because you are visiting Barshane. So I, I don't want to accept from someone who is visiting. <laughs> and then at that time said, no, Maharaj, I was staying Buraja. I'm living in Buraja. <laughs> why you say like this? <laughs> I'm not giving to you this donation. I give to you Vaishnava Seva. Or Takuruji Seva. Then Ramesh Baba ac uh, accept. And Ramesh Baba is very much amazing. <laughs> One day, uh, I think very big, I don't know, maybe magazine or some journal, many famous, very famous magazines, editor or somebody, may, maybe journalist came to meet Ramesh Baba. Why? Because Ramesh Baba, uh, Ramesh Baba is taking care of, I don't know how much, maybe 50,000 cow. And uh, he's taking care of maybe 20,000 devotees. And uh, amazed how he take care of so many cows and uh, asking to this Ramesh Baba, some journalist asking Ramesh Baba. <laughs> <laughs> Ramesh Baba did not like say, we, we, we do not do anything, we do not ask anything, but Radha Rani take care of everything. And then at that time, <laughs> journalists could not understand what's going on. Because in Buraja, uh, very, um, very much amazing, because Ramesh Baba did not ask anything from others, but automatically donation is coming. 
Automatically devotees coming. <laughs> and uh, because Radharani is managing to take care of cow and devotees. So this Ramesh Baba is very much wonderful job to take care of uh, cow and uh, devotees. Because many places cow become sometimes problem. They, they, some, somebody sent to slaughterhouse. Somebody hurt cow, ill-treat cow or bull. And sometimes sick. And sometimes injured. But Ramesh Baba taking care of. And this Ramesh Baba is saying this very much interesting. Because Ramesh Baba is saying Going, coming is not good. Coming like a tourist is not good. He's saying, do bhajan and live here. So why tourist is not good? Why we should do bhajan? Guru Dev's words, we are not swimming in the surface. We want to dive inside. So if we are uh, like tourist. Our consciousness is like uh, always moving. We cannot go in deep. And uh, here, Ramesh Baba is saying like Gurudev. So, I also learning from uh, Goranga Sundara. Because he's, he's going, he's diving a deep. So maybe Gorang Sundaraji, could you, could you tell us your secret? How to meditate? Go diving? Because, you know, we have tendency to, to move. We have tendency to be tourist. So if you could share something. Radhe, Radhe. Thank you. I'm sorry. <laughs> what to say? Jananjaji is very merciful. He's giving me opportunity to purify myself. You know, I'm trying to learn, even to swim, what to speak about diving. But I don't know. Things are going on somehow by the mercy. And when Gurudev is saying here, in Vridavan everything is coming, so it means that we should open our heart, that these jewels from Vrindavan, from Sadhus of Vrindavan, from Rajavasis, can flow in our heart. And in one sense this is for me complicated, but I understand this is very simple. Because Jayanandaji said tourists and Gurudev mentioning Gurudev's words. What does it mean to be tourist? I have been tourist so many years and still I am tourist. It's someone who has a lot of desires. I want to see Hawaii. I want to see Australia, I want to see Alps, lakes, oceans. I want to see so many things. 
And when I'm in one place, after two, three days, I'm starting to make a plans. Where should I go more? And more. And more. Now I'm in Canada. I'm visiting first time in my life Canada. And I'm in the middle of the forest. But after two days, I say, no, I want to see the ocean of Canada. Islands of Canada. You know, tourists is the person who is never peaceful, actually. Never. Because this is his lifestyle. He's putting so much endeavor in that lifestyle. He's earning money to be a tourist, that he can travel all around. He's putting his intelligence, he's putting his mind, senses, especially senses, to be very engaged in fulfilling his desires. And he is pretty much convinced that this is the goal of life. But actually, this kind of consciousness is a big obstacle for spiritual life. Spiritual life means diving. Spiritual life is not religious life, ritualistic life. This is the traveling inside the soul. So we are talking and using this diving mood. When you are diving, you have to be very, very patient. When you are swimming, you need the strength and a lot of power and a lot of passion. But if you want to dive, especially to sink deeply, we need to be patient and humble. And when Gurudev here is speaking, I, I just sleeping and eating. He said just, but for me, this is the big word. Just sleeping and just eating in Vrindavan, it's not easy. Because for this just, we need to be very humble and very focused to stay in Vrindavan. And this tourist mentality is a great obstacle. This tourist mentality is actually anartha. Because it's very tightly connected with our material consciousness. I am this body and automatically I am very proud that I am tourist. I visited so many places, I saw so many different nice people, but actually if I look deep in my heart, and if I am honest, I will understand that actually I don't know any of these places in real sense. I don't know how these people are really living, what they are feeling, who they are, are just like Maharaj said, on the surface. I have information about all these beautiful places and all these people. But this kind of information is not a spiritual deep penetration 
in the essence. So for that, we should open our heart very sincerely and very honestly and ask ourselves what I really want. To be the swimmer or to be a diver? This is upon us. And I'm asking every day myself this question. You are still swimmer? You are still, like Maharaj said, tourists? Or you want really want to become a diver? And immediately my ego and my mind is saying, yes, I want to be a diver, but I, it's, it can be very difficult. You know, it's, sometimes it's boring, always in one place. I should do something. And then again, we are coming to the point of bhajan. When we really practice bhajan with the heart, that is one amazing thing is happening. And this is so much varieties are present in the bhajan, much more than varieties when we are just swimming all around the world. Inside of the soul, inside of the relationship between the soul and the Lord, between Manjari and Radhika, there is so many unlimited varieties, surprises, happiness and sorrow, sun and moon, day and night, so many little small teeny, but deep varieties, which we cannot grasp when we are just swimming, like a tourist. And for that, we need conviction, actually. Why I cannot stay so long in a bhajan? Because I am not convinced that it is ultimately good for me. Still I have some, my own conceptions, ideas, okay, I did my bhajan two hours, now it's a time to do something really. Otherwise, this world will fall down completely if I don't interfere. So many things can be said about this. And this is the Maharaj said, ask me, and I really think that is for my purification to speak about this because I'm talking first of all to myself and I have to check <laughs> where am I? Am I still a tourist? Or actually I am in love? with Vrindavan and Vrajavasis and Sadhus. Because when we are in love, then we are able to dive deeply. Only love can make us able to dive. Because on the bottom of the ocean, is a very valuable jewels and most rare pearls. You know? So the love is oxygen which we need to breathe deeply and dive in this amazing surprising area of unlimited ananda. Love. Without love and strong emotions, it is not possible to dive. So, I need this love desperately. 
And this kind of love is the purest emotion. Because, you know, when we breathe pure oxygen, it's reviving all, our, when the person is sick and they give him a pure oxygen, all body revives. So we need the pure love to really, to, <clears throat> to really revive our existence. And this is the pure love, which is coming from Radharani like a source and pervading all spiritual and material universes and all moving and unmoving entities. So I don't want to become, to stay any more tourist, because this is artificial breathing. I need love, which can be only my possession and energy. which will bring me to my goal. So, Radhe Radhe, I said something first to myself, trying... Thank you very much. Because one day I talked with Goranga Sundara, and I'm asking how to meditate. And you said, I, I meditate one subject matter not to a few days, something one week, one month. <laughs> then I was a little shocked. Oh my God. One subject, one subject, and meditating one week, or even one month. So this is very much for me. I'm running. And I'm realizing, slowly, slowly realizing, if we, we are passionate, we have a tendency to go tourist and go one place to another place, one knowledge to another knowledge, one book to another book. <laughs> A few, a few weeks ago, our, uh, Ragnata Baba, somebody sharing, Ragnata Baba has only two books, main two books. Radhara Sasuda Nidhi and Bilapaks Manjari. So I felt Oh, he's fixing one pointed, especially Radharani and Radhakunda. So this fixation, Radharani allow him to leave his body at Radhakunda. That's my, it was my feeling. And also Goranga Sundara explained very nicely because if we have love, if we have relationship, we can have one pointed. I think diving means one pointed. Swimming means, uh, what do you say, many points, many uh, deviation or many variety, not to concentrate one pointed. And in Brindaban, if we stay one place and then more mind is fixing, if we are traveling to traveling, it is difficult to fix myself. That's my, my feeling. So I want to ask also 
our Gora Baniji, uh, how to fix ourselves, how to go dive. If you give us some uh, suggestion and uh, some advice, we are very happy. <laughs> Thank you so much, Chayananda Chi. Like our Goranga Sundara said, you are giving us possibility to clean ourselves or maybe to be aware of our false ego if we think, yes, I will tell them something. But honestly, what I could tell. If I would have to share something, then only what I heard, and that's not my mercy, it's the mercy of Radha coming down to the stream of the Parampara. So, really, I cannot say anything. But I was remembered. You know what is Abnoi diving? Abnoi diving is a fixed point. And you have a string which is leading down. But to dive Abnoi, you have to first get rid of the air in your lungs. Which we could maybe um, we could say this is the false ego. Blow up. You, we are blown up with air. We are bigger than we really are. <laughs> so <laughs> we could say this is the false ego and we cannot dive up noi with the false ego. We cannot stay one pointed. So what we have to do is this point is actually fixed and actually some rope is going down and you take the rope. The rope actually was fixed by another person or by some team. Like we can say the Parampara, they fixed this string. And we just try to follow that path which is fixed. So the Acharyas, they dived already very deep. They reach the goal. They always stay at the goal. So they are actually not Appa Radha. They're always with Radha. Because Appa Radha means we leave Radha, we leave her love, even if just for a moment it's an upper Radha. So if we think that we are better than another person, if we think that we should correct another person's false ego, if we think like this, conceptions, that we are something special, then we are Appa Radha. Because Radharani would never ever, never ever appreciate such thinking because she would never do herself. She thinks herself the most fallen, unworthy servant of her beloved. There are so many others who could serve him much better than she she thinks. So if we are not in the mood of Radha, then we are Appa Radha, not with Radha. And this actually is the other side of not being one-pointed. If you are not one-pointed, the stream will take you away, because if you dive in an ocean, there's always a stream. And if you 
not get hold on this line which was installed by the Acharyas and you leave that, your stream will just put you somewhere else. So what we can try to do is to get our own picture like I described now and remember that in situations when you feel your heart is going faster because somebody called you a name or somebody did something which you didn't like or whatever happens, then you may remember Oh, I don't want to leave Radha now. I want to stay with her. And so you can try to stay on the line just for the, the normal um, exchange with other people. And although it's in our day-to-day -day life, how to stay with Radha now in this seva? I have to do some seva. Maybe I have to work, do a job. I have to do something, whatever. So how I can stay with Radha? How I can feel the connection? So I try to do that. I cannot say I'm really doing it <laughs> perfectly or almost good or something like this. I'm just a beginner trying again and again to push my mind back on this point and stay with Radha and don't be an upper Radha. So, you see, I cannot say very much because I'm just depending on the mercy of persons like Jayananda, Gauranga Sundara, of course, my Guru Mandri. Thank you very much. And uh, actually, I hearing, after hearing Goras, Gauranga Sundara and uh, our, you know, Angora Baniji, I, I feel it. If our attention to go others, other place, and other people, and uh, checking others, then we, we are going to, uh, what's it, upper ladder. <laughs> But if we go going to inside ourself, checking myself, and then we have tendency to go in deep. That's my feeling. And uh, so recently, I want to share one thing. Uh, I was just to, I try to, according to the Guru Dev instruction, I am trying to now lighting some, something about uh, a Birapax Manjari. And uh, I remember how to practice Raganuga Bhakti. When I first met Guru Dev, I was asking, Guru Dev, to practice Raganuga Bhakti, which book should we read? Should we hear? Should we study? I'm asking this question 10 years ago. <laughs> and then, Guru Dev mentioned, four book is necessary. One book is Hidden Path of Devotion from Narayan Maharaj. And he said, one book is Prema Bhakti Chandrika, Narottam Dastak. Another book 
ez ladara sasdanidi prabodanda saraswati and final book is birapak sumanjali from ragunadas goswami especially anandas babaji maharaj's uh, explanation is good <laughs> and uh, i just checking what Pabupada mentioned about Ragnata Das Goswami. Then I was surprising. I checked Chaitanya Charita Murita, but Pabupada did not mention anything about Bira Paksmanjari. And also I was checking Pabupada words. Pahupa did not mention Prabodhana Saraswati's Radhara Sasdhanidi. He did not mention Radhara Sasdhanidi. And also, I am checking. Pahupada, did Pahupada mention Prema Bhakti Chandrika? But uh, as far as I am checking, Pahupa did not mention Prema Bhakti Chandrika, Radhara Sasdhanidi, and Birapak Sumanjari. I shocked, honestly. So, then I felt, of course, Pahupada explained everything to us, but intentionally or Unintentionally, Prabhupada did not describe this three book. <laughs> and this three book, and Nara Maharaj, as far as I know, Nara Maharaj mentioned Birapak Manjari. He was explained to us. But I don't, I, I don't remember any his explanation of Prema Bhakti Chandrika and Radhara Sasdhanidi. So, and then finally, our Gurudev and Anantas Baj Maharaj show us how to fix Radha Dasham, how to fix one point to Service of Shurimati Radharani. <laughs> Actually, this is very much amazing because Gurudev want us to fix ourselves to, to Raga Nuga Bhakti, especially Rupa Nuga Bhakti. A service of Shurimati Radharani. So, this slowly, slowly, our Acharya bring us to, to, to fix one final point, which Shri, uh, Shri Man Mahaprabhu give us, uh, Babo Urasa Rasa. That is very much amazing. <laughs> and to, 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 to become, to dive means to know myself, to know this Babo Rasa Rasa, and to feel and to join in this service of Shri Matera Dharani. That is my, my feeling. <laughs> okay, Maharasa, could you read a little more? Yes. <coughs> Without any mistake, if you're chanting, automatic prema will flow in this mood. Is always perfect Krishna prema. Krishna prema is Radhika's seva. Don't think that Krishna is teaching you. Yashoda Maya 
is teaching you. No any philosophy. It is not written in any shastra there that you do this and this step and you will get the prema. You research. There is not any philosophy for that. Saintly persons realize souls is written. A writing, some hint is given. Do this, do that. But you don't understand. Living in Vrindavana and chanting by listening only, it will be like a sunrise. Sunrise has no time, is fixed, it will rise like a sunrise inside. It will rise to you naturally. So, living in Vrindavana, I explain what is happening, how to live in Vrindavana. What is the point to live in Vrindavana? Okay, just stop it. This Gurudev is, is, is mentioned. Why we are living in Vrindavan and why we are chanting? Gurudev said, without any mistake, if You chanting, we chanting, automatically prema will flow in this mood. Is always perfect Krishna prema. Krishna prema is radical seva. So this without any mistake means without any offense. Any apparat. <laughs> then, chanting, if we don't mistake, if we don't make a parad, then automatically prema will manifest. Penima will flow. So this is very interesting. Uh, Bhakti Bino Thakur, uh, I think Bhakti Bino Thakur, Harinama Chintama, there is a book named Harinama Chintamani. And uh, this book describes three stages of chanting. One chanting is Aparada's chanting. Next stage chanting is Nama Bas chanting. Namabas chanting is, is offense is, is, is decreasing, decreasing, decreasing. Then, Namabas is not with love, but indirect chanting, like a joking, something, but not offensive. This is, this is Namabas. And then, pure chanting, Shuddha Nama. And then, Bhakti Bino Thakur was, I think, explained. Aparada chanting ends like midnight, like, like darkness. Very, very dark. We don't know what to do. 
We don't know where signs coming. But I say slowly, slowly, if time is going, like midnight, two, three, four, five, according to season, especially summertime after four, slowly, slowly, darkness is gone. Slowly, slowly, uh, what is it? Lightning is coming, slowly, slowly. And we slowly, slowly, we could see. And then five, if sunrise, everything clear. So if we don't have any mistake, and if we don't have any apparat, then, Guru Dev is saying, automatically is prema is flow in this mood. And then Guru Dev is saying, Krishna prema is radical seva. Actually, Krishna prema means many, many meaning of Krishna prema. Many rasa. But here Gurudev mentions one pointed. Our goal is Rupa Ragnata's goal. Our goal is Radha Dasham. Radha's radical seva. Because sometimes say, Gurudev say, Krishna consciousness. Who is most Krishna consciousness? <laughs> that person is Radhika. Radhika is always thinking how to please Krishna, how to meet Krishna, how to please Krishna, how to serve Krishna. This is Krishna consciousness. So this, our our sadaka. Here Guru Dev saying, our goal is not Krishna. Our goal is Radhika. Krishna cannot teach us about love. <laughs> because Radhika's, uh, Krishna's guru is Radhika. Radikara Prema Guru Ami Shishanat. <laughs> so, this is, this is not the philosophy. In Brindavan, Guru Dev was saying, Guru Dev, in Brindavan, if you don't have any mistake, you can realize it. They here say, it is not written in any shastra there. <laughs> but you do this. This step, you will get the prema. You research, there is not any philosophy for that. Saintly person, realized soul is writing some hint is given. One day, Satchinandana Ji, Satchinandana Baba is leading Srimad Bhagatam 10th Kyanto. One day, Gurudev was hearing Satchinandana Baba's Bhagatam, Prabhupada explanations. At that time, Prabhupada said, I don't remember exact sentence, but his meaning like this. In Buraja, internal potency is prominent. Actually, yoga maya is prominent in Buraja. But outside Buraja, 
is, is not prominent. Especially, Mahamaya is more strong. So Gurudev's hearing Pahupada words, and Gurudev was explained, this is reason why we stay in Braja. Because Yoga Maya is preeminent, predominant. Yoga Maya means Yoga Maya connect us to, to Radhika or Radhika's Moham. So therefore, if we stay in Braja, Brindavan, then our consciousness is more easy to one point, more easy to remember Radhika, more easy to remember Radhika and Seba. That is Brindavan. So this is a century person realizing. Sometimes Gurudev said to us, outside Braja, you may not realize it. But in Braja, more easy to realize it. <laughs> so therefore, I think recently Gurudev came back, uh, Brindaban from, from Delhi. And Gurudev does not want to leave, leave Brindaban. He wants to stay in Brindaban. Because in Brindaban, a Gurudev could feel Radhika and Radhika's Mohan more strongly. Also in Brindaban, association of the devotee is more nice. <laughs> so this is very Interesting point. If so, somebody could share. Radha Kripaka Takshaji, if you could share something very nice. Oh, Radha, Radha, thank you. After your speech, it's difficult to find the proper words, and you mentioned so many nice points. I don't know from where to start to say something. Uh, I just was thinking about uh, uh, your statement that uh, you didn't find in you know, Prabhupada's books nothing uh, about um, uh, practicing of Raganuga Bhakti and uh, these books uh, which you mentioned, you know. And I was thinking about this uh, because. I'm also uh, was in a period when I uh, uh, I was passionately uh, try to find something about this when I came in this rather uh, uh, that sorry just to move something okay so and uh, finally I don't know is it uh, proper but I finally I realized that actually. Vilapakusumanjali and other book and these acharyas and everything uh, what we met bef uh, uh, after our uh, practicing before is waiting for us actually. It's uh, also uh, as uh, Radha and Krishna waiting for us uh, lifetime after lifetime, so many, uh, so long period. Also this uh, nectar this uh, pure prem where, where, where is situated in these books waiting for us and uh, Prabhupada uh, I think that uh, he knew that in uh, this uh, environment he didn't uh, um, he know he knew that uh, in this environment at that time uh, that uh, uh, he, uh, his disciple uh, wasn't ready to understand, to taste the, the nectar, to taste the sweetness of service of Radhika. Actually, if, uh, uh, some of, maybe some of you can actually 
um, uh, who get a mercy actually that we through our uh, to, that we have to pass uh, uh, so many years of our spiritual practice and the cry for mercy to should we go parallel as we know all this just uh, to cry for mercy and then finally to get this emotion with and then when we when we uh, by the mercy get this get these emotions then these books and these acharyas and this uh, sweetness uh, is uh, ready for us actually to dive, to swim and dive inside and uh, fulfill all, all this purpose, what uh, Prabhupada said on the beginning, you know. It's, uh, I just think like this, you know, I don't know what is your experience actually, but it's not so uh, easy and not so cheap thing actually, you know, to get connection uh, with Radharani in such a way that you uh, that you are ready to give your life, give your heart only to her, to just uh, get that fixation, you know, to approach Radhika and uh, on that way and uh, completely surrender your life and everything, your eternity to surrender to her lotus feet, you know. Uh, so, Maybe this point is enough for now if you have something more. Also, my experience in uh, uh, Raja actually, uh, uh, as Goranga Sundara and others mentioned, that we have to actually perform a, a bhajana during the, our uh, presence in Vrindavan not to go like a tourist but by my experience actually we have to be constantly in this crying mood to see radhika to see our ishtadev each second in our presence in vrindavan in each face on the street in each dust uh, uh now in of each conversation with someone not just to chant many rounds so all day and, you know, and to think about something else. Just be in a cry mood constantly and call, Radhe, Radhe, show me your face. But how to show? Show in the heart, in emotion. And then we can see actually her present everywhere. And it, then we are able to carry this emotion, Radhika, here, when we're sitting now in our rooms, to be in Vrindavan also. Maybe it uh, seems like phrase, you know, to speak like this, but it's really like this. This uh, bhajan from Vridavan we can perform every day in our room without problem, because uh, uh, bhajan is not nothing external. Actually, is it? In the beginning, uh, through the period, we have to pass this. But finally, we get to the point uh, that uh, uh, bhajan is very internal thing that we can invoke our ishta that always in our mind there will be in the heart it's very near you know and serve in some way and we are automatically without just keep this emotion always in a crying mood always in a calling mood even in, even if we are chant our rounds with this a, a mood of calling Rade, Rade, where are you? <laughs> Show me. Discover yourself, your sweetness in my heart to serve you. So, if somebody, if you want to say something. Beautiful, very beautiful. Very beautiful. Because fat is, I feel fat is external, fat is internal. I think internal means with feeling. You mentioned the uh, internal means with crying, be praramba, with, with calling, like Raghunath Das Goswami. So this is, this is, uh, this is, uh, I think, essence of chanting. Because Goswami's 
their mood is not like this. Oh, I'm seeing bhajan in my meditation. No. h e r a d e b r a j a d e b i k e c h a r a r i t e h o e a r e you, Radhika? h o e a r e you? I cannot live without you. <laughs> so please show me your, your face, your, your lotus feet. So this is, this is, I think very much in, very, very needed. So this is very much inspiring because your, your poet also Very much, uh, with feeling. This is, uh, so this is,、uh, we are, we are learning from you. So, so our Ma Bhakti Himagiri, so could you, uh, if you could, could explain something, some sharing with that feeling, how will you bring so many students to, to, to Brindavan? How you, Want to connect to Gurudev and Radharani? Please share with us. あれどなたか通訳できるかな？できますかね？ああ、今ラッキーちゃんが日本語予約をしてくれてるんですよ。予約してるんですよね。そうだよね。はい。どうしようかな。マハラサさんできるあなた。うん、あじゃあ、じゃあ、ほかになかった渡します。すいません、じゃあ、ナ先生。ええー、そうですね。本当に、グルデーブ、ジャイアナ先生、あと、あの、世界のディボーティーの皆様のおかげで、ヨガの活動ができております。By your mercy, I'm, I'm doing some seva in yoga and,、uh, and bhakti yoga. Hm. 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 1年間でブリンダーバーに連れて行くことが今できています。So, every year, I think twice, I visit ブリンダーバーに、to brought hundred people to ブリンダーバー by, by the mass. うん。なんでこのようなことになってるか私もわかりません。I don't know what's happening now. Gurudev が k i r t a n をしなさいと最初に会った時にお話ししてくださいました。So I met with Gurudev and Gurudev suggested me to do k i r t a n サチナンダナジとシュリラーダジがキルタンを教えてくれました。So, サチナンダナジとシュリラーダジが教えてくれました。So, サチナンダナジとシュリラーダジが教えてくれました。So, サチナンダナジとシュリラーダジが教えてくれた。So, after we go back to Japan, and we share this kirtan with the, with the student, in front of student. So, in the audience, I was a little bit of a person, and I was a little bit of a person, and I was a little bit of a person. There was 60, 70 people. And maybe forty people were crying, hearing Kiruta. Um, I was surprising. Um, I was surprising. Um, I was surprising. Um, 
何が起きたのか分かってなかったと思います。I don't know what's happening. うんその後にすぐジャヤナンダ先生をその会場にお呼びすることになりました。Then we, we invite ジャヤナンダ at, at that time ジャヤナンダ also came to our place. ジャヤナナ先生のもとに100人ぐらいの生徒が集まりました。全100 people gathers when ジャヤナナ came。カラバティさん、カラバティさんがクッキーを200枚焼いてくれて。全ジャヤナナ s wife カラバティ made 200 cookies for us。そしてジャヤナナ先生がバクティヨガのことを私の生徒たちに教えてくれました。Then ジャイナンダ taught us about バクティヨガ。その後に、お数珠が何個売れたんだろうな、50個くらい売れたんですかね。売れたっていう言い方ダメですね。くば、くば。At that time, ジャイナンダ distributed 27 beads. He distributed 100 small beads, Japa beads. これもまたびっくりしました。<笑> That's also, I was surprised. その後、カラバティさんのクッキーを食べた子たちが、こんな美味しいクッキー食べたことがないと、プラスアダムですね。びっくりしていました。Our student took prasadam, which made by Karabati Didi, and they say, I never eat such taste delicious cookie. But that cookie was really a lot of materials that were used. It was a very long time to make it. It was a very long time to make it. It was a very long time to make it. It was a This cookie was made of very nice ingredients, also full of love. Therefore, nobody could imitate, could, could make the same cookies. サズマハラジがキルタンを歌えと言って、ブリンダーバンディボーディの方がキルタンを教えてくれて、ジャイナナ先生がパクティヨガを教えてくれて、えー、カラバティさんがフラサーダムの愛を教えてくれました。すみません、ね。グルデブ・ティーチャーズ、インストラクト・アス、ドゥ・キルタン、エンゼン、ディボーティ・イン・ブリンダーバン、サチナンダラジ、エンシュリダラジ・ティーチャーズ、エンゼン、ジャイナンダ・ティーチャーズ、バクティ・ヨガ、エンゼン、カラバティ・ディストリビュート・プラサーダム、エン、ディボーティ、エン、ピープル・エイト、オール・トゥ・ゲザー・カミング。つまり、こうやってヨガが広がってきたんですけど、私は何もしてないということになります。<笑> so, so then yoga was spreading, but、uh, I feel I did not do anything. あの、みんなさんの愛がつながって、ヨガが広がってきていて、私は本当に何もしてないんです。So, this love is connecting, linking, With other people, and、uh, I did not do anything. あれから多くの人がマントラを唱えるようになりました。After that, many people start chanting. 多くの人がラダラーニを知ることになりました。Many, pe- many people could know about s h r i m a t e r a d a r a n i いきなりラダラーニとクリシナーそう言われても、あの、自然な愛はもしかしたら、難しいかもしれないです。If we talked about Radha Krishna first time or directly, they may not understand Radha and Krishna. ただ、サズマハラジ、サチナンダナジ、シリラハダジ、えっ、ー、と、ジャヤナンダ先生、カラバディさん、こうやって目の前に多くの愛は見せることができます
So, Esad Maharaj, and Sachinanda Ji, and Shudhara Ji, Jananda, and Karabati, and then they, they can show. この絵は、どこから来てるのって言われたら、ラーダモハ、ラーダクリスナから来ていると説明することができます。Where this love is coming? This love coming from Radha and Mohan. グルデーブが作ってくれた愛の流れを説明することは、あの皆さんが本当に愛をくれたので、簡単にすることができました。So, because Guru Dev's love, every devotee's love, therefore this is, this is happening. 今、毎年100人の生徒を連れて行くことができるのは、あの、関わってくださったすべての皆さんのおかげです。So, we, we bring hundred people to Brindaban. This is all other devotees. And Guru Dev's and devotees,、uh, mercy. そこから仲間も増えました。たくさん仲間も増えました。Then our friend, our, our,、uh, what do you say?、Uh, our devotees friend also increasing. 今通訳してくれているラティマンジャリちゃんがいるんですけど、あの、自分の大学、東京大学の方に私のことを呼んでくださって、その後の会社、就職が決まってる会社にも呼んでくださって、またそこから大きくヨガを広げようとしてくれています。So now,、uh, now, l a t i m a n j a r i is, is translating,、uh, uh, interpreting, and she brought us to Her university, Tokyo University, and her company to, 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 to teach some yoga. 日本では一番頭のいい大学です。So, Tokyo University is、uh, like a topmost university in Japan.、うん、その他の生徒たちも私を会社に呼んでくれるようになりました。So, as a also, as a student also,、uh, calling me to their companies. So, ni, o k i s so, ni, ana, o s e t o tachi ga zenbu m o t e k i t e k u r e m a s So, so, ni, and, uh, air nippon, eh, what is it? So, ANA, and so, our student, Calling us. あの、すべて、皆さんが持ってきてくれるもの、本当に何もしてなくて、この流れの中にいさせていただいてるだけで、こうやって、あの、伝えるチャンス、広げるチャンスがやってくるんだなと思います。So, if we are in flow, then automatically something happening. Some chance to distribute this message. あの、全員で同じ船に乗ってるんだなというふうに思います。So, we are, we are in same ship. We are in same ship. チーム、ラダラーニーであり、チームサードゥーモハラージなんだなと思っています。<笑> We had team of Radharani and team of Sad Maharaj. 目的に、うん、すべての魂の目的に向かって、これからも、あの、できることをしていきたいと思います。So, whatever we could, we want to do,、uh, to, to, one point to help. ラデラですべての皆さんに感謝します。ありがとうございました。Thank you so much. ラデラで。ジェナ先生、本当にありがとうございます。So, actually, this,、uh, this Manjari Baba is not a doer, <laughs> just a viewer. So, Ma Bhakti Himagiri Didi、uh, show us how to 
how to be a viewer, how to be an instrument for Radha Mohan and for Gurudev. So, this is very interesting. If blindly follow Guru Dev's instruction, and then、uh, automatically we are in flow, and that's I'm feeling. Of course, sometimes we may not.、Uh, Do properly from beginning, or we made some mistake as something. <laughs> But if we keeping in, in flow, that's all we have to do. Like, I think if we fast riding on bicycle, sometimes we are fell down. Uh, you know, and then many times fell down, but,、uh, gradually,、uh, we, we don't, we don't fall down. Slowly, slowly, we, we are in flow. We can ride on nicely. So I think that is the way of doing,、uh, bhakti and also bhajan. And,、uh, Most important thing is, is, is feeling. This Radha Kripaka Taksha ji telling us how to crying,、uh, how to hankering. This mood is also is very good to learn. And I think chanting also,、uh, similar. Before, or maybe now, I'm doing some mechanical chanting. <laughs> But slowly, slowly, at least reading Bilapax Manjali, Radha Rasa s a n i t i some feeling also, some coming. And then we could meditate and something. I learned from Goranga Sundara how to, how to meditate one subject for deep. Not one day, <laughs> a week and,、uh, or many days. And actually, I also, I was feeling, I was realizing, actually, if we concentrate one subject matter, then something is coming into my heart. Especially in Buraja. And then, Gurudev is saying, if you meditate, And then many things is coming to you. I think this is, I think, Goranga Sundara also, I think his many things is, is coming to him. Because one day he told me, Goranga Sundara, he told me, he told us, no, actually, I was meditating one year this subject matter. And I was, I was surprised. Oh my God. He's meditating one subject matter a year. So therefore sometimes, you know, Goranga Sundara did not explain more deep, maybe more, more a secret conversation he may share. So anyway, so my point Our point is、uh, try to dive 
ourselves. And today, Gdal Kripa Kataksha Ji is showing us how to, how to crying, how to uh, calling. Ma Bhakti Himagiri Didi was saying how to be viewer, how to follow Guru Dev's instruction. That is, I think, a very good point. So, is there somebody want to share? Please help us more deep understanding. I would like to share something. Please. Please. And this is <clears throat> Janandaji exaggerating because <laughs> he has his own reasons. But Hemagiri is the example of someone who has complete faith in Harinam. So because of that faith, which is completely focused in her heart, in Harinam, things are happening by the mercy of Harinam. This is one thing. And another thing is that this Harinam is the main process for this age which Chaitanya Mahaprabhu established. So, to reach Radha and Krishna and to really reach Vrindavan and proper mood, which is flowing in Vrindavan, we need the mercy of Nitaigor. And the beginning of that mercy is to connect our faith, our heart, with Harinam. This is the beginning, but honestly speaking, this is the middle and Ultimately, this is the end of everything. Because in Harinama, all these Aprakrata Lilas between Radha and Krishna and Vrindavan are already present. So when but Ma Bhakti Hemagiri is distributing Harinama, she is not just distributing nice song and some words of mantra. She is distributing her faith. She is infusing her faith in that holy name. And her faith is also touching the heart of attendances. So I took this opportunity to thank you very much to Ma Bhakti Himagiri, because she is giving us living example about the faith, strong faith, not ordinary faith, strong faith in Harinama. And from that, everything will automatically blossom, like Guru Dev is saying here. Because ultimately, Vrindavan is not a geographical place. Radha Kripa Kataksha said, Yes. Vrindavan is, if we cry from Vrindavan, Vrindavan is in Japan. Vrindavan is always in Croatia. Can you imagine even in Croatia, in Serbia, in Germany? Because Vrindavan is transcendental place and there is no limitations from Vrindavan to expand itself. We should have a, this kind of shraddha. In Switzerland mountains, in a wooden house, of my yoga shakti is also Vrindavan present. So, we need this faith and we uh, need association of those devotees who already have this kind of faith so that we can be nourish between each other this pure faith. In holy name, and those faith in those persons who are actually have a holy name in their heart. 
and they are relishing the holy name. And they understand that by chanting Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, there is no difference between pastimes of Radha and Krishna. So thank you very much, Ma Bhakti Himagiri, for your sharing, encouraging sharing, not only about results, I understand you, but for encouraging us in our faith in Harinam by your true example. Radha, Radha. Thank you, Jan. Thank you very much. So this is uh, faith on Gurudev, faith on Holy Name. Then Radhika, please. <laughs> And then mercy flow. That's I also feeling. Because of he, her desire to help other people. So as a, so another sharing. My yoga shakti also always crying. I, I know she always crying. My yoga shakti. Because you are all always touching my heart, just listening to all of you is just, I don't know what happened. And um, I'm so thankful for these tears that you um, helped me in this um, hard time. And um, yeah, sorry, I'm not um, qualified to, to say anything. I'm just doing so many mistakes every day and you are my only help, really. And I can learn so much from all of you. Also, Mabakti Himagiri, I was so touched when I met you first time last year in November. It was incredible to, to see you and, and all the devotees from Japan. It was incredible and I will never, ever forget this. And really, you touched my heart so, so deeply with your love and your bhakti and you're incredible. And this is what Goranga just said so nicely about your strong faith and in the holy name and in Gurudev and in Radha Mohan. So you are an incredible um, um, gift and... Um, and uh, forbid, uh, just help me. Uh, what is forbid? Um, example. Example. So, yeah, thank you. <laughs> example for all of us. And that it's possible, you know, to, to um, just by love and opening your heart that we can reach this also because I have no knowledge, you know, I, I, I came. By chance, I came four years ago, the first time to India, Munga Mandir, Guru Dev. And I didn't see anything else from India, just Munga Mandir, Vrindavan, and Tradakund. And one time, Govardhan, and nothing else. And my husband always says, you have to see more, you have to visit more holy places. But I have no desire. And this is because of all of you, because I love you all so much. <laughs> and I'm so attached to all of you. <laughs> so I have no desire to visit any other places in India or even in the world. But I don't think because I'm so advanced, that this is uh, the opposite. But uh, to hear from you that it's a good sign. <laughs> This is a relief because I always think that I'm wrong because I'm not want to go. You know, my husband just left two, two days ago to go to India for two months and he will be in different places. And he said, you should also have this desire. And I said, no, I'm sorry, I don't have, but have a good time. I'm so happy for you. And I'm just happy that I can come in two weeks to Vrindavan for three weeks. And I'm just so happy. I, I also took all the money by the side and I don't want to buy and to 
anything for myself. I just want to come to you and meet you there and be with you. <laughs> and I'm struggling so much to be here alone in France. And I don't know what will come this year. Everything will change. We have to move the house. We will um, give it back. I'm in front of a, co a court since three years because of the house problems. And I don't know where to go. I, I don't know what will come. And I'm really struggling a lot. I'm so sorry. I, I, I cannot... Uh, <laughs> I, I'm sorry that I use your class to share this. I, I don't know what happened. <laughs> and I just want to tell you that you are so much uh, helping me in this hard time. And, and because I'm so full of fear, I can see that I'm absolutely not advanced because I, if I had this trust and this from faith and this strong faith, I would not have fear. <laughs> So this also shows that I have a lot of work to do, but I can be thankful because there's hard times. Um, if I continue and overcome them one day, I I know that I will show back at this uh, look back at this time and say, okay, it was really you were really at the bottom. No, at the yeah. But you went through it with help of loving people like you are all. <laughs> and with Guru Dave's help. <laughs> and something changed for the good. So I have this hope <laughs> that everything, even if it's hard now, that we go through it. Everybody has hard times. I know it. I'm, <laughs> I, I don't want to lament. I'm so sorry for lamenting for myself. <laughs> but this shows that we, we share so intimate and that we open up and that we know that we are not alone in this. And if we go through this and, and we have this help from beautiful Sangha as you are, from all these beautiful souls, some I never met in person, some I met and I have more feelings for you than for old friends or, or blood family. And, and this is you are my greatest gift. <laughs> and I'm so thankful for all of this, for all of you. <laughs> Radera, this sorry. <laughs> Always cry. <laughs> and please just help me that I cry for Radha and Mohan and that I stop crying for myself. This is my biggest, biggest wish that I start crying for Radha and Mohan and not for myself. Please help me. <laughs> Thank you so much. Radera. Thank you very much, my Yoga Shakti. You show us, you know, feeling and honest, honesty. I think, you know, slowly, slowly, Radhika will help you and show you the way and uh, no problem. So, is there anybody to share? So, thank you very much for, for your help and for your sharing. So we want to stop it.